In the beginning of this video, I will show how to set up this DIY cordless beach shade that I made from a beach blanket, tent poles, and old beach umbrella poles. Stick around to after the setup to see how I made it and what materials I used. This is the beach towel that we're going to be using to make the sunshade. One edge of this blanket is longer than the other. The longer edge is going to be the leading edge that I fold over and use fabric tape to make the pocket hem to pass the tent pole through. Each corner does have these sand pockets. I think the ones on the front edge won't be a problem since we're going to fold over the leading edge like this, allow for some space for the tent pole to pass through, and then this is not going to be affected by the wind, but the tail end could catch the wind. So we're going to take this leading edge and fold it over about one and a half, two inches, leave plenty of space to pass the poles through there. You can either sew that down if you have a sewing machine, or I'm going to try to use this no-sew peel and stick fabric fuse tape. This stuff is supposed to be super strong. I'm gonna try it on here and see if that works and it'll be a lot easier than sewing it, especially if you don't have a sewing machine. If the beach blanket that you're using has corner pockets for sand, you either need to sew or tape them down or just cut them out. I'm just gonna cut these out, it's gonna be easier. Be careful not to cut the rest of the fabric. This is a 25 foot tent pole kit and these are heavy duty tent poles for large tents. So this is a kit so it needs to be assembled to whatever length you need it to. In this case I'm going to use 20 feet. If I was making the extra large beach shade using two beach blankets I would use a full length of 25 feet. So I'm going to show how to assemble these with the elastic. It also comes with this wire which might be hard to see on camera. This wire is going to be used like a needle to thread the elastic through each one of the poles. 
one of the poles is not like the others. It has two female ends, so this is going to be an end piece. Take one of these male tips, or if you're not going to use the male tips, take one of these washers, and we're going to tie the elastic cord in the end of it. Now take that male end just to hold it in place, put it in here, and we're going to pull this elastic cord along the length. And we want to mark the elastic cord at about 70% of the total length of this pole. So I'm marking this cord at 70%, but we're not going to cut it yet. So take this wire that's included that we're going to use for threading and make a little loop and then twist it. Now tie off the other end of the elastic cord. And we're going to use the wire to start threading through. So you want to start on the end where you're threading it through the male tips such that it doesn't get snagged on anything when it's coming through to the other section. Pull that out. Here you can see it comes right out the other end, doesn't get snagged. Once you've threaded through two sections, put the sections together and then move on to the next section. Once the elastic cord arrives at the end with the wire, be sure not to lose it back in there. Pull the cord out all the way until you see the black mark you made at 70% and that's where we're going to tie our end at. In this case I'm going to grab that male end piece, thread it on here. And now the remainder of the elastic shock cord can be cut off here. So now we have some tent poles that can be bent up into an arch, just like this. And then to take the tent poles apart, I always start at the center and under the center first. And go ev pretty evenly on both sides. Now. Go back to the beginning of this video to see how to assemble the beet shade.